Yes, it's great to be back in Killarney here and with the Killarneys and they just got just off the spiky altogether sorted. Is everything else a spiky by you? Oh, hell! <laughs> well, you lads, um, what will I tell you now? I wonder, will I tell you about Tom Maloney? Now, Tom Maloney was a great footballer in his day, but didn't he spend all his youth running after football? Didn't he forget to run after a woman? Before he knew it, the night came on him there, he was all alone and lonesome and the draughts coming at him from every direction in the bed. Well now, Tom, the looks would be against him, but the bank balance would be a distinct advantage. <laughs> well, they say every old shoe gets a shocking and who should come home from America at the time I talk about on a Nell Quaid's daughter caught, which a new coat, a new hat and a handbag, Pon my salt was the size of a horse's collar. <laughs> she had two big lavericks of suitcases full of silk and schlicks, schlips and knickers and all other sorts of finery, like Mary here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, all the girls were envious at the time because they had no finery or silk and schlips next to their skin. Not at all, only all gibbles down to their knees tied with hemp and cart and knickers made out of sunrise flower bags that would kill a bad tart a mile away. You never came across one of them, did you? <laughs> well, if the truth was known, Cart needed the finery. They say fine feathers make fine birds. I'll describe Cart you if I can. Well, now Cart was the soft girl now that fell off the ugly tree. And she must have hit every branch coming down. <laughs> She had teeth protruding from the front of her mouth. She had unique quality now being able to kiss him and, and pluck his eyebrows at the same time. <laughs> she was a salty girl now that could nearly eat an apple through a leather box for her. <laughs> when the count of matrimony was round between Tom and Cart and she agreed to marry him. Well now, the first time they met were on the steps of the altar. Oh, there was no pity smohawning going on there. Mm -hmm. By God, no. Or there was no pa darling going on either. Oh, lads, wouldn't she have been reared and have times if he were around him? But the first time they met, like I say, were at the altar. And you know, after the wedding, it was back to the house they went for the keep the real. And after the grudels, the grub and the goody, the neighbours came in and the music started playing and the dancing and God, they had a great night off together and he had come on. And the kitchen was in high hilarity when the straw boys arrived in that night. And the couple didn't get a minute alone until it was time to go to the hammock in the room. <laughs> now that was the bit of a problem. Because poor old Tom was very too looking backwards when it came to women. Sure, a poor man, he was like himself. Now he couldn't string two sentences together in the presence of a woman. And his problem was made worse because he, he suffered from overactive feet. That smelly feet. And anybody that suffers from that will know that he's an awful complaint altogether. But he was taught in good authority if he bathed his feet well in sudsy water and dried them well and do this twice a day and apply a fresh pair of socks on each occasion. But the trick is, leave the socks on you full time. Well, sure, poor old Cart, she was backwards and coming forwards. And you see, what held her back was she suffered from awful bad heavy tosses. That's bad bracelets. Oh, God, you know, she's always worse in the morning, the bad bread. Oh, God, oh, is a terror for thing in the morning. And, you know, she thought of her plan as well. That she'd set the alarm to go off around six in the morning. She turned off straight away. She'd hop out of the bed. She'd wash her teeth well and she'd gargle her mouth with salt and water. She'd hop back into the bed and sure Tom mightn't even know that she was missing. But neither she'll tell me, sir. Things don't always turn out the way you planned them to. Didn't Tom wake out in the night? And didn't he start to panic because he realised his sock was missing? And he started to take a doll around the bed looking for the sock. And in his panic, didn't he wake out? 
and caught forgetting about the bad bread. She shot around in the bed and she said, Tom, love, she said, are you looking for something? We shut her breath nearly flat and came back in the bed. He said, I, I, oh, 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 I'm looking for my sock, he said. But I've great fear you're after swallowing it. Eh? 